unworthy to be king. Charles attacked for wasting up to millions of pounds in taxpayer money. Prince Charles has been slammed for wasting millions of pounds in taxpayer money and labeled a climate change hypocrite by a furious anti-monarchy campaign group. Wastes millions of pounds. Charles slammed for failing to follow his own advice. The Prince of Wales has been accused of absolute hypocrisy over a polluting flight ahead of the ceremony that saw Barbados and the Queen cut ties. A plane flew 125 miles to RAF Milden Hall in Suffolk for Charles' convenience because the base is nearer to Sandringham. Critics say the Prince should have opted for driving to the aircraft's usual home, RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire, in his electric vehicle. While it would have added two hours of driving to his journey it would have reduced his impact on the environment. That decision would have been more aligned with his message at the COP26 climate conference, where he told world leaders, we have to reduce emissions urgently. We have to put ourselves on what might be called the warlike footing. We know what we must do. The heir to the throne urged them to do more than just talk, which he admitted he had also been guilty of for the past 40 years. The vocal anti-monarchist group Republic took to Twitter to say, Charles is a climate change hypocrite who wastes millions of pounds on taxpayers' money. The Voyager in which Charles traveled, an Airbus A330 also used by senior government ministers, is the first RAF plane to run on biofuels blended with normal aviation fuel. A Clarence House spokesman said on Saturday. The Prince has campaigned for a shift towards sustainable aviation fuel as air travel is a crucial part of his work. As a result, this autumn the RAF introduced for the first time sustainable fuel and deployed it for this trip. But even though this sustainable mix is presented as a step towards creating carbon-free flight, with manufacturers claiming it can cut a plane's CO2 emissions by up to 80% over its life cycle. Scientists have not yet given it the thumbs up of being truly green. It wasn't always this way. Before Prince Harry's decision to repeatedly throw his father under a bus, he was arguably closer than Prince William to Prince Charles. Yet, the already fragile relationship between the heir to the throne and his youngest son now appears at breaking point after an increasingly isolated Harry claimed he had raised concerns about the donor in the cash for access crisis that has engulfed Charles's household. Insisting he had severed ties with Mahfouz Mari Mubarak bin Mahfouz a year before his father presented the controversial Saudi billionaire with a CBE, the Duke of Sussex has once again risked another public rift with the royals and upsetting his father in particular, at a time when most other families are busy planning their end-of-year get-togethers. In suggesting he had concerns over the businessman's motives after he gave tens of thousands of pounds to his own charities, Harry swiftly undermined Clarence House's attempts to distance themselves by pointedly referring to the saga as the CB scandal. So much for blood being thicker than water. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder but, as he continues his Californian lifestyle, living in a Montecito mansion where he counts people including Oprah Winfrey and Orlando Bloom among his neighbors, Harry could not seem more estranged from the house of Windsor he once rallied behind. An ocean away from his brother and London circle, he's raising his two children, Archie, two, and six-month-old Lilibet largely without the input from his own family. Charles has yet even to meet Lilibet, who was born in Santa Barbara and hasn't been brought to the UK. Already it hasn't been a good few months for the future king. Charles has been engulfed by criticism in recent months over his relationship with Mahfouz and the hundreds of thousands he has donated to the royal's pet projects via his charitable trust. The prince's senior aide Michael Fawcett, the man he always said he could not live without, was forced to resign as the head of the prince's foundation last month.